Hello everybody! Dun, 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 dun. Right, today we're going to do some super long nails. They're not full massive length, but I am going to be using the TX Elite tips. And following a um, video from Kirsty Meekin last week, I'm going to be turning these into the modern almond shape. And it's the first time I've tried it, and her breakdown of it was so easy. I just wa literally watched her video and was like, I have to do these. I have to do this shape, it's like my fave. So I'm gonna use Nail Mates Perfect Pink, and I'm gonna be doing some artwork with Madame Glam's brand new gel paints. This is the gold one. They have a whole collection out, and it is stunning. And I will be doing a giveaway of the whole boxed collection very, very soon. I'm also going to be using some brand new Alina crystals. This is Golden Shadow. You wait till you see these on. They're so freaking sparkly. So, I've prepped my nails. I've applied a peel off base coat. Um, I have a video on how I do this. So, have a look. I'll, get, I'll try and remember to put it in the description box. So, I'm gonna just trim these down a little bit. Normally, I'd put them on the nail, then trim them, but because I'm doing this new shape and it needs a bit of adjusting, you just pinch it together, look. Pinch it together. You'll see that little shadow line, that's cool. Take the nippers and just nip off the corners. Pop, and then the other side. Seriously, when I saw Kirsty do this, I was like, you are a genius and I love you. Um. So there you go, look at that. Just refine it a little bit with a file. You can do them any length, so I cut down some of the length, but you could even do them short like that. But I just think you don't need 50 million different tips. If you can adjust them, it's great. It saves you money, doesn't it? absolute splendid so I'm just going to apply the tips how I always do which is um, I'm using a little bit of Madame Glam's base coat so I'll let you watch me do this I've just scored the underside of the tip so going back to the Madame Glam thing they've released these amazing gel art paints and I've only just sort of dived into them a little bit and used the gold for this but I will use some more and demo some more and I have got the full kit um, of all the gel paints in their beautiful display box which I am going to do a giveaway with. I also will have another giveaway um, because I ordered their latest collection, which was the um, Viva La Madame Glam or whatever it was collection. I ordered it and they sent it to me as a PR. So I had a double. So I asked them if I could use it as a giveaway and they said yes. So I'm gonna be doing that as well very, very soon. I just need to sort it all out and check where I can and can't post it to because it's gel. So as soon as I know the details, I will fill you guys in. Um, I'm just doing the tips one by one. I also have a giveaway over on my TikTok for a hundred pounds worth of vouchers to spend on my website on anything you want. And um, I will add my TikTok in the description box and you'll have to go and find the video. I don't think I can link the video directly. I might be able to, I'll have a look. So all those tips are on. I'm giving them a final little squeeze because I love, 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 love them nice and tight. Gorgeous. Look at that shape. I'm so impressed with this technique. Super simple. I'm just going to build the nails up with Perfect Pink. Now, obviously, doing a new shape, you kind of have to lay your acrylic and get used to it flowing a bit differently. It's like when you, if you do a deep C-curve square tip, you've got to get used to working with your acrylic a bit differently. It's the same with this shape, so it took me a couple of nails to get used to it, but yeah, it was all good. I'm going to do it in sort of three beads, which is normal, normally what I do, and then fill in any areas that need to, because it's quite a long nail still, even though I've removed some of it. So I shall let you watch me on this part.
one thing is really, really important, especially with this shape, is to give it a good pinch. It, if you pinch the right way, you won't damage your nails. You don't need to pinch, you're just pinching the sides of the enhancement to bring them in. You're not kind of hammering the crap out of your natural nails. Wait until that acrylic's starting to set. Do a little test pinch. It just makes that shape so slender and elegant. It's, and it's the same with square nails. You want to keep them tight. You want to give them a tiny little pinch. It just works wonders. I'm going to do all the other nails. I haven't filmed application on every single nail because it is identical and I thought you'd probably get quite bored. This video was initially incredibly long as it is. So I was just showing you a couple of um, nails of application and then we'll get into the rest of it. So as if by magic, fast forward and they're all applied and I'm going to show you a little bit of the filing but again I, I often file off camera, it's much easier on my shoulders, I've got a really um, injured right shoulder and holding it at certain angles is just very very painful. But basically because those sides dip down quite low I need to level them out now. So I'm going to level out the sides a little bit and then I'll work over the body of the nail as well. So I'll do the sides, the cuticle, the body, all around like that. Keep that nice shape at the free edge, which you'll need to hold your file at an angle when you get to the free edge. But it was, it was very, very, very oh, I can't even speak. It was very easy to, uh, to file in this shape. I just, I made the thumb a bit thick. I had a bit too much, damn that nail's thick bit too much product on that one um, so yeah I'm holding my fingers into place so they don't kind of like hurt because they're quite long so these are all filed now see they're pretty and filed I've applied a little bit of cuticle oil after washing my hands because my cuticles were so dry um, obviously I didn't put it on the nail just on the skin so I'm gonna apply uh, Madame Glam's velvet matte top coat and then do some artwork on top. I find it much, much easier and more effective to hand paint on top of a matte background. So yeah, that's another little tip.
Once they're all cured, we're gonna grab the new Madame Glam's gel paint. This is gold, honestly. It's stunning. It's so beautiful. It's unbelievably beautiful. I'm going to do some swirlies and the idea is, um, I was kind of inspired by doing almost like a modern day bridal nail with a twist, you know? Um, so I wanted gold, the nude, I wanted some white flowers, some crystals, and I just got excited with it and went from there really. But look at this paint, it's so beautiful. It's so gorgeous. I will do some more hand painted designs to showcase it to you. It's beautiful. I'm just gonna make it slightly thicker at one side. You know the kind of swirly thing that you do? Slightly thicker into slightly thinner, flowing lines, curvy lines, all nice and pretty. Look at that. And I'll do another one at the top of the nail. And I'm just gonna dot them about across the nails, make it look like it flows through the set. This gel is a one minute cure as well in an LED lamp.
Now we're going to dive into the crystals. This is a new release colour called Golden Shadow. The pack is 1400 crystals from SS3 upwards or SS5. They're stunning, absolutely, absolutely beautiful. Um, I'm going to apply Madame Glam's Builder Gel in a bottle. I find it works really, really well with the crystals. It holds them in place really, really well. We are going to mix it up, pop in different shapes, um, different shapes, different sizes. My brain is not working today. I had my second COVID jab. I reckon they removed some brain cells while they were there. Um, <laughs> mix up all the different sizes of the round flat backs and you'll start to see that sparkle. It's insane. Um, the website is full of some of new products and there are an awful lot more still to come. So just keep your eyes open because it's gonna get busy. And also another thing that's busy are the courses. Thank you so much. I've had so many new beginners sign up and um, some of you have started finishing your course now and I'm just amazed by the quality of work. It's absolutely phenomenal. So well done to everyone. And yeah, I'm just, I mean, I don't really know what to tell you about this. I'm sticking crystals on. It don't mean a thing if you ain't got that bling and we've got that bling. We've got a lot of that bling. Look at it, so pretty. So I'm just gonna keep adding more and more. Obviously the crystals go down in size as the swirlies go down in size. It kind of follows the pattern. They're just so, like, I can't stop looking at them. I have used a peel off base coat, but I don't want to take them off. So I've kept them on for a couple of days. Because they're just too pretty. Now, these caviar beads are also available on the website and um, I'm going to add those around the end of the design just where the crystals tail off and the little tail of the gold goes really thin. I thought it would look nice to have some of those caviar beads and I've dotted them around here and there as well. So yeah, they're also available on the website. There we go. Sorry if the camera shakes, that is Oliver coming in to see what I'm doing and he walks flat footed just shakes the camera, shakes the table, because we've got a really, really old house. And the old floorboards have a good old wibble wobble. Right, let's get that cured. And then basically, I'm doing the same through all the nails. I have not included every single nail because I do think that would drive you a little bit bonkers. Um, but I thought I'd show you this one because it's quite a nice clear design. And then we'll get on and do some 3D work. So as if by magic, here we are, look. Come on now, tell me they're not stunning. Oh my God, they're so beautiful. This is such an underrated shade. I'd never used it enough and it's so, so beautiful. So I'm taking some Blizzard White from Nailmate. So this is the first time I've used Blizzard White. I was using Glitter Bells, but I did um, notice the odd little bit of discoloration, but then again, um it was sort of i've had it quite a long time so i think it could have been that but i use nailmate so i i bought their blizzard white and it's the first time i've used it 
and it was really good actually for the 3D. It worked really, really well. It was really easy to press the beads out. In fact, I feel like this particular colour set up a little bit quicker. I don't know if any of you have got it and use it, but I feel like it's set a little bit quicker than the nudes and stuff. So yeah, that was really interesting. But it was fab to work with. Really, really easy to do the flowers. So I'm just applying the bead, waiting for it to go matte, turning it into a kind of croissant shape. Croissant! That's what Oliver says. Sorry, it's in my head. Because we had croissants in London. If you haven't caught that video, it was uploaded Sunday, our vlog. It's like his week of school holidays. He's hilarious, this kid. He talks about his sweaty butt crack and croissants and all sorts. Honestly, hilarious. Ow, I just hit my hand on the table. So third bead goes in, because this is quite a small flower. I'll wait for this little bead to set and then I'm gonna put my brush straight down and give it a little wiggly woo. Open it up like a ring donut and then press it out. So it's a really simple flower. It's literally three beads of acrylic and that is it. Very, very simple. At the end, I did put a little leaf underneath, but I forgot to film that. And then I'm just gonna break the circle and twist it around and join it to the previous leaf and then bring the other one right into the middle so it kind of spirals. There you go. So I've done the same on the other nail and just added some little gold beads to it. And then I'll go in with matte top coat. I'll show you a couple of nails top coating, but it was quite long winded because I had to go around all the crystals with my detailer brush um, after sort of going in with the, the bigger brush in the, on the bigger areas. But it's important to seal in your crystals. Don't go over them either because you'll lose that sparkle. I mean, I have seen a technique. Somebody tagged me in the video. I have seen it where, or they sent me the link where they've encapsulated uh, crystals and it gives a completely different look to it. And I will try it in the future. But if you want the facets of the crystals to shine and have detail, then you don't want to go over them with any product. So yeah, we'll just tuck those in around all the little edges. I'm going in with matte top coat because I felt like that was the best way to show off the crystals and the, the gold shine underneath of that gold gel just so beautiful but it is a bit of a faff not gonna lie it was a little bit easier on this nail because I could just tuck my brush along the edge and kind of swoop it round so that was a little bit easier which was nice just tucking it in swooping it round so here we are here's the finished set I really really hope you've loved this video don't forget to check out the website if you want to get your hands on the products and i'll see you in my next one tally bye